Hi, this is Debbie with Book and Bujo, and welcome here. Today I'm going over my December wrap up. So, for December, how did I do? Oh, yeah, and Walter's here. You want to say hi to Walter? He stole my chair, he literally kicked me out of my chair. All right, so how did I do for December? I took part in quite a few readathons. Um, so the first readathon was Light Fall with um, the magical readathon with G at Book Roast. And I did fairly well in that. So being the super overachiever and extra person that I am, uh, <laughs> I tried to fulfill every single prompt. So while I did read every prompt book, in December, it was not during the readathon timeline. So it took place from December 9th to the 18th. And I, at the Old Tales Bookshop, I got all of them but one. So I did read two of the three. I did read everything for Shawl and Shank Legitimate Retailer. I, during that time, I read two for Wallace's Wonderful Winter, Winter Wanimals. Uh, I did all three for Smith and Friends and Sons, Arcane Goods and Such. Love that name. And then for Occult Premonitions, I did, I missed one on that one. Got confused on my notes. I missed one on that one. Um, I did read the book, just not during that time. And then for The Rich Pigeon Pub, I did all of those prompts as well. So pretty much I only missed three. So not too bad had fun with that one. And then the festive readathon, which was December 10th and 11th. Um, so I did a lot of the same books as the Lightfall readathon, but I did get all of those done, which was fun. So you had a free, there's nine prompts. One of them is a free space. Um, one of them is to eat or drink something festive, do something for self care, watch a festive movie, um, take part in a sprint. And so I did all of those and then also share your TBR on social. So those ones were all fairly easy. So really there was three books that you needed to read. So festive colors on the cover, illustrated cover and a festive word in the title. And I did complete those. So then I also took pl uh, part in December days and nights, and that was a month long readathon readathon that was with, uh, books and bops. And that one, I did get all 12 of the books read. The last one I did was Reindeer Readathon with Break Even Books. And that one you had to read a book for every reindeer. And then if you completed all of those, you could do um, three bonus, well, three bonus points that you got to double up with one of the reindeer prompts. And so I did all of those. And then if you completed everything, you could redo one prompt for an extra 50 points. And I was on Team Snowflake um, and with Noelle Seven Pages, who's also on booktube. She's great. I completed all that, so I was very excited for all of those, and there were some great reads over Christmas. Uh, so there were three books I read during the readathons that I forgot to mention, and that's The Raven and the Reindeer by T. King Fisher, Winter Song by S.J. Jones. Both of those were wonderful reads, and Saga Volume 2, which again is a great read. Let's go with some stats. Now we got the readathons done. So my star ratings, I had a zero one star, zero two star. I had four three star. I had 19 four stars and one five star read. So my average rating for December was 3.9. So next was the format. I read four short stories, two graphic novels or comics, uh, 13 standard novels, and then five novellas. And then let's see, we have demographics. So I read one children's book, one middle grade, uh, three young adult, two new adult, and 17 adult books. Sourced from, I got 12 from my library, either from my library itself or from like from Hoopla Digital. And then I owned the other 12. So most of the short story Christmas books I actually owned. Um, so I did read 24 books total. For genres, I read 10 fantasy, who's surprised for that one. Uh, one sci-fi, one classic, one horror, two mysteries, one nonfiction, four romance, one historical fiction, two contemporary, and one short story. For book types, 
nine of the books were audiobooks, 15 were ebooks. I did, um, there were a couple I had a, the ebook and the audiobook, so I did have a couple mixed media, but I just added those to whichever I read the most of, so the audiobook. And then, let's see, hours I listened to, 151.5 hours of the audiobook. So I just take what the actual audiobook is. I typically listen on at least 1.5 speed. If I can, I'll go up to 1.75. If I'm reading along while I'm watching I can or listening, I can go up to two, two times speed, but typically it's about one and a half speed. And then I read 6,779 pages in December. Publication dates. We ranged from 1904 through 2022. So basically I had one book in 1904. The rest were from 2013 to 2022, with the most being from 2018, which is kind of interesting. So yeah, 24 books. I definitely got to use my reading journal notes for that. So again, Santa's Secret. And um, I do go into a little bit more in depth into my reviews for the Christmas books in my 12 books and 12 movies of Christmas. So make sure you check that one out. I'll leave that one either linked below or up in the cards for you. Santa's Secret. And I completed that. Uh, win do a winter landscape oil pastel with and I did that with um, she's art if you saw the my last vlog then you saw the oil pastel that I did so it was a lot of fun so I'm hoping on the blank page next to that I can get another one done um, this month so I read dark harmony and that was for oh so Santa secret was a TBR jar the oil pastels was for non reading prompt and that was for watercolor slash pastels so my third prompt was 22 in 2022, and I read Dark Harmony by Laura Thalassa. That was the third and final book in the Bargainer series, and that was really good. Um, I still think I liked the first book best. I felt like this one was a little too long. It was 436 pages. I think it could have been closer to 350, and I think it would have flowed a little better. There were some times I felt like it was um, dragging a little bit. Part of that could be trying to listen and read at different times. So sometimes I was reading it, sometimes I was listening to it. And I don't know if maybe one of the times was dragging a little more than the other for me. I don't know, but I did still really enjoy this book. Still gave it four stars. So. Okay, so my next role was even and that was a graphic novel and for that I read Buffy the Vampire, Vampire Slayer Hellmouth issues one through five and I am enjoying this series and I'm definitely going to continue it um but it's not my favorite um it's good but I'm not in a rush to finish it so whenever I get a graphic novel pick, pick on my TBR Opoly I'll probably read one but I'm not going to go out of my way to finish it my fifth role was an even and that was the most recent purchase and that was Nutcracker Sweets at Moonglow and it was actually I, I guess I kind of flubbed on this one a little bit because it was actually free but it was my most recent book that I got <laughs> but I didn't actually purchase it because it was free hmm I didn't even think about that at the time there we go Nutcracker Sweets at Moonglow and I talk about this one in my 12 Books of Christmas. Um, but I did read that one. That one was really cute. So I normally do my five rolls. So that was my fifth roll. But I did get five doubles. So I had ten. Ten rolls. Roll number six was TBR Jar. And that was A Sleigh Bells Ring by Karen McInerney. And that was a mystery. That was really good. I enjoyed that one. And again, that one's in my 12 Books of Christmas wrap-up. And then my seventh was an even... And that was another TBR jar pick. And that I got Tales for Advent and Christmas by J. Traveler Pelton. And that one was an interesting one too. So basically it's it's set up to be like read one story a day throughout Christmas. So there's like 30 stories in there I think. Or it's up through Christmas. So it's kind of like an advent calendar. So it's 24 days. And each day it tells a different story. So we have a story about the Christmas pickle. A story about why there's spiders on a Christmas tree. And different things like that, the story of Krampus, and just some of the different holiday traditions in countries around the world. So it was, it was very cute. I did learn quite a bit in that book. And then role number eight 
It was Amazon Borrows, and for that I rolled a five. And the fifth book was The Song of the March by S.M. Gaither. And that was the first book in the Shadows and Crown series. And that was really good. I really enjoyed that book. Um, I started it kind of towards the beginning of the year, or the beginning of the year, the beginning of the month. And then I kind of put it down and started reading all my Christmas books and all the things I had picked for my readathons that were um, shorter. And then I went back and picked it up towards the end of the month. And oh, I loved it. It was so good. So good. Okay, so my ninth roll was um, odd and it was water on the cover and for that I picked Boxes in the Basement by Kathy Daly. It was the first book in The Inn at Holiday Bay and a cozy mystery and that was really good and again that's in my wrap my other wrap up. Roll number 10 was a booktuber rec and I took a recommendation from J.D. Ray Reads and that was Winter House by Ben Gooderson. This was a middle grade book and this one was really cute. I loved all the word play that was in it. They do a lot of word ladders so you take one word and figure out the shortest number of words you can use to get to another word. That was really fun. My final role was an odd, and that was a light cover book. That was The Christmas Contest and by Teresa Saderholt, and again, that's in my uh, 12 Books of Christmas, and I love that book. It was so cute. For my book clubs, and the other books that I was getting to. So my D20 roll, I always do that every month. And for that, I got Christmas Magic by Alexandra Moody. My Shadowhunter read, -al read along, um, we were reading Lady Midnight by Cassandra Clare. Loved that. That's one, I think it's one of my favorite books yet um, out of that, the whole Shadowhunter series. And then for Pop Sugar Challenge, which was my last prompt, I did every single challenge on the pop sugar which was great and that I read Love Light Farms by BK Borison and again really liked that one. For Elder Ling Long Catch Up Book Club was Assassin's Fate by Robin Hobb and oh that was my five star read for the month. So good. Oh my gosh. I would recommend that series to just about anyone. It's long. It's like a 15 book series um, but so worth it. 16 books, 16 books, uh, so worth it. Like, it's just so good. Not fast paced at all. They're all slow paced, relationship building, character building, world building. Um, there is a lot of action and there is some fast paced parts of the books, but overall we're basically on the slow walk down the trail of Fitz Chivalry's life. So enjoy, get on the train, enjoy the ride so good. For Full Moon Book Club, um, Horrid by Katrina Leno, I did not reread that one. I decided I wanted to make sure I got all of my other books finished first, and I did not have time to reread that one. Howling Pack Book Club, The Dark Between the Trees by Fiona Barnett, and that was really good. That was a high four star for me, four and a half stars. It was so interesting. Um, just the whole concept of it was interesting. So you have just this, this scary little patch of woods that is all blocked off like it's all chain linked and locked and no one can get in there uh, but these researchers were able to get in to do a study and oh so interesting very atmospheric I love the atmosphere of the book they did a great job um, there are some other parts of it that could probably have been done a little better um, some of the characters could have been built up a little bit more the pacing was kind of hit and miss. It was like really good or it was just a little slow or it was really good or then it was really a bit fast. Parts of it did kind of move along a little quicker than I think it should have, uh, which is why I didn't get a five star, but four and a half star. Classic. I read A Kidnapped Santa Claus and that one, it was fun. Um, it was, it's, it's a kid's book. So it's about hate and malice and these other three demons that are mad at Santa Claus because he's making everybody happy and so none of them are coming to see hate and malice and repentance and and all of them and so they decide to kidnap Santa Claus because then people will come see them again and it's just a cute little short story it's 31 pages really easy read more wonder so my nonfiction pick was more wonder experiencing Christmas by Betsy Duffy and then Buzz Wordathon, Christmas Time, 1939 by Linda Makovic. And both of those I reviewed in my 12 Books of Christmas. So that was my December wrap up. I think I had a really good reading month. I just enjoyed 
everything that I read. Forward to seeing you in my uh, next video, which is my 2002 overall stats, and I can't wait to share those with you and to see what 2023 is going to bring. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you want to hear more from me, and I will see you in the comments. Bye.